Hey friends, hello, happy Wednesday. Um, it's probably going to be Friday or Saturday when I upload this, but I wanted to make a video today specifically because summer is right around the corner. It's literally happening so fast. It's the end of April right now. Um, next month is May. That's when it starts getting hot outside. And yeah, so obviously when it comes to summer and fitness schools, a lot of people have this notion in their head that they like have to get fit very, very quickly, or they have to lose weight really quickly, or they have to look a certain way in order to wear a swimsuit or go to the beach or wear shorts or whatever it is. And honestly, like it is completely valid to have a physique goal or an aesthetic goal. Um, but I mean, in the bigger scheme of things, that doesn't necessarily mean everything. When it comes to setting a fitness goal for summer, the last thing you want to do is have it be a temporary fix or a temporary thing um, or solution to your problem because that's only going to make your results temporary. That's only going to make it not enjoyable, unsustainable, um, all the things that we don't want, especially when we're dealing with a chronic illness at the same time. So I'm going to go through my biggest tips when it comes to setting fitness goals for the summer. So the first thing is to attach your long-term goal to your values. Like, why do you actually want to achieve your goal? And I went over this like in a past video um, with the steps of setting a goal. So this is kind of going off of that, uh, but make sure that your goal has significance, has meaning to you, because if it doesn't mean anything to you, you are so much less likely to reach it. Um, and you're not going to enjoy reaching it anyways, because if it just doesn't mean anything to you, like, why would you do it, you know? So we have to attach meaning somewhere behind your goal. So it's not just to lose weight, to look good in a swimsuit, which like, by the way, you don't have to look any type of way to wear a swimsuit. So I'm just throwing that out there. Um, but instead of having a very superficial, like temporary type of goal like that, attach meaning behind it. Like, why do you truly want to lose weight? What is this going to actually do for you besides maybe make you like look good in a swimsuit or, you know, meet your own standards of yourself or whatever it is. Like, find some meaning behind it. And, you know, if you value being healthier for your family, for your loved ones, if you value being able to go outside more, like whatever it is, attach those behind your goal. The second thing is to find your why, which is kind of the same thing I just went over. Like you wanna find the deepest reason behind wanting to reach your goal. Um, so you have to dig deep here. Like it isn't <laughs> just going to be, again, like it's not going to be, I want to lose weight because I want to look good for the summer. Like that is so temporary. That's so superficial. Not that it's like you're a bad person for having that goal or that's a really bad goal or whatever, but it's just not deep enough. So really find your why because that's going to be your driving motivator. Um, if it really is like to feel good about what your body looks like or how you look, then maybe like, what are those things going to do for you? How is looking better going to benefit you? And then you have to dig deep like with that. Um, being able to walk confidently, being able to wear clothes more confidently, um, being able to feel just super comfortable in your own skin, being able to just like go out and date or, you know, make friends or whatever it is, you know? So dig deep, even if it is very, you know, aesthetic based, still dig deep because those things like what is looking good quote unquote good or losing weight or you know looking like what is that going to do for you <laughs> so think about that and find your why because that's going to be your driving motivator the third thing is to know that fitness is long term it is not a temporary fix it should never be a temporary solution to a problem like this is a long-term thing, um, and that's the only way you're going to really achieve real sustainable results is if you treat it like a long-term thing, like a 
lifestyle change. Um, like you're going to be implementing fitness throughout your entire life, even if it's not as like strict um, during the time when you have a very specific goal that you want to meet, like you're still going to take those things on through the rest of your life, especially when you have chronic illness, because like, no, you don't want to stop exercising totally and be totally like sedentary all the time because that's going to make you hurt worse. <laughs> like you don't want to eat super badly. You want to, you know, continue to pay attention to the choices that you're making when it comes to your meals or snacks or whatever. Um, so like, Fitness can still be implemented in your life, uh, whether it's like, you know, depending on what level of like, quote unquote, strictness you want to do or whatever you need in that moment. Um, but know that it is a long term thing. It takes so much time to see results. So don't expect to have results like overnight or in a week or even in two weeks, like it's not going to be like that at all. You're going to see small changes over time. So don't rush it, don't get impatient, celebrate your small wins, celebrate yourself along the way, love your body in all of its stages and know that you are you know, constantly moving toward your goal. You are getting closer every single day. Fourth is to start thinking about what you want to do this summer instead of how you want to look or how, think about like how you want to act. How do you want to be? What do you want to do? Um, because all of those things matter so much more when it comes to fitness, especially when you have rheumatoid arthritis or other <laughs> types of chronic illnesses. Um, Doing more is everything. Being able to go for walks to the park with your kids, being able to travel and actually have fun doing things, doing like fun activities when you travel, um, being able to go to the pool and walk around the beach or whatever it is. Like think about what you actually want to do because your fitness journey is going to lead to that. Um, so instead of just thinking solely, like hyper-focusing on what you wanna look like, think about more so how you want to feel about yourself. Um, you know, maybe it's like you just really wanna feel confident in yourself. Maybe you just really want to feel healthy, um, you know, like have more energy, whatever it is. Think about those other aspects of deeper health rather than only what you look like because in reality what you look like really doesn't matter it's what you feel inside i will be completely honest when i started my fitness journey all i cared about was how i was going to look so that's what i did and um that was awful because no matter how i look no matter how much weight i lost no matter how much muscle i gained it was never enough because i never took the time to really appreciate my body for what it can do or what it could, like just anything, you know, deeper. I just never had the time or I never took the effort to work on my inner self. I was only focused on my outer self. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> Focus on your inner self just as well as your outer self. The fifth thing is kind of going off of what I just went over is working on self love. You need to love yourself every single step of the way. Um, no matter what your body looks like, don't spend so much time critiquing yourself. We are literally our worst critics and it's awful. So work on switching the narrative in your head. Work on showing yourself love through, you know, scheduling time out for yourself. You can use your love language on yourself. You know, you can do a lot of things. You can do affirmations, you can do journaling, but make sure that you are appreciating your body for everything that your body does for you, everything that your body can do for you, because I guarantee you are so much stronger than you think you are. And if you don't appreciate your body along the way, you're never going to appreciate it, even when you do reach whatever goal you're trying to get at. So keep that in mind too. Love yourself every single step of the way. <laughs> um, so if you are having trouble, you know, navigating your fitness journey and summer's around the corner, and maybe you want to lose some weight, maybe you want to get stronger, maybe you want to do both and actually, you know, be able to make results in both ways, like both 
for weight loss and both for you know gaining stability, gaining strength in your joints. Apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, the link is down below because I have a six month program just for you to get fit with arthritis. And even if you don't have technically arthritis, if you have chronic joint pain, this is still a very, very beneficial program. And it is so perfect for working around those limitations. So make sure to apply, see if it's a good fit for you. Um, you can also obviously message me with any questions on Instagram, on email. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I cannot wait for this summer. It's yeah, I need the warm weather. So we're, we're looking forward to it here in Iowa. I'm sure you guys are too. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more. Bye.